Welcome back, I'm Sean Barr and at Looking Point we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security and networking. Today I'm coming to you from my home office to give you an update about the WebEx Desk Pro, how I've been using it and what I think about it. And this is a Tech Talk. Alright, we're back and before I get into talking about my current setup, let's talk a little bit about how I got to this point. So before the Desk Pro and before I had the, the capabilities of it, I researched a lot of other options to get a nice video experience on my basically software meetings. So what your Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and if you didn't have a, a DX80, Previously, WebEx meetings, all of those are software based and they use the integrated camera on your laptop. And one of the challenges I have is I've got a curved display behind me and imagine the Desk Pro is not here, but just a curved display. You've got your laptop, you plug it into your docking station, you like using that monitor. You close the laptop so your screen resolution is great and it's just kind of weird for me to have the laptop open and have the big display behind it and you know where do you put the display. I just would rather close the laptop, use the big display and be done with it. The challenge becomes when I go to join a meeting and if you're like me and like most most of us were working from home, you're joining a lot of meetings throughout the day. So you go to join a meeting, people want you to come on video, it feels like you're not supporting the experience, so you open your laptop, your screen resolution changes, all of your stuff gets moved around, you jump on the meeting, then you close your laptop, you gotta re-log in, because it's just annoying. And I wanted to solve that. So before the Desk Pro, I went and got a number of cameras. I got this Sony camera, I got a uh, GoPro, um, I got, I went kind of crazy because I just love buying technical stuff. I bought this Z cam. It's a, uh, it looks built out because it is built out, but you don't need this display. You don't need the handle. You just need this, uh, this lens and the microphone. And, uh, I got this big fat battery, but essentially I bought all of these things to get this amazing video experience when you're on the computer. Um, and when you have your laptop, display closed because I just wanted that experience. I wanted my cake and I wanted to eat it too, just like most of us technical folks out there. In order to get those cameras to be placed in the right place, I had to get some mounts and I clamped it to the desk and mounted it up and then I had to deal with turning it on and then it wouldn't negotiate right with the computer. The camera would get super hot. The cinema cameras like this Z cam, which is a true cinema camera, it doesn't focus automatically so you're messing with, with the focus ring. The Sony does do that, the GoPro does do that, but they by default they've got this widescreen look so you gotta adjust that. Anyway, I played around with all those things trying to get the experience that you get with just buying the Desk Pro. Not to mention, you gotta deal with microphones, you gotta deal with speaker arrays, and all of those things. And so one of the considerations that I hear people talk about is the Desk Pro, it's not a cheap thing. I mean, there, there's no doubt about it, it's not a cheap piece of hardware, but with us moving to remote and people being trying to be more productive, I don't know how you could do it at scale to get the quality, the capabilities that you get with the Desk Pro out at people's houses without just buying the Desk Pro. And if you wanna enable those remote workers to be productive, it's almost like you gotta cough up the money to get the experience. And it's really not that much money when you think about the efficiency and how it just works and it's a display and all those amazing things, it's not that bad. And then if you factor in how much I spent on this one camera, uh, actually the Desk Pro's bargain. So anyway, let's jump into my setup now. So how it's set up currently today is I've got the Desk Pro connected with a USB-C connector to my docking station. I've also got the docking station connected to the display. So I have display one, which is the curved display, and I've got the Desk Pro, which is my second display. Uh, my microphone, my speakers, and the camera all pass to this unit. Um, and now, once you set the settings up, just saying your default camera, your default microphone, and your default speakers, um, when you join any other meetings, whether it's WebEx, whether it's Teams, Microsoft Teams, whether it's Zoom, it just defaults to that setting. And then the other thing that I like doing is if it's an application 
conferencing software. I like dragging that application over, over to the Desk Pro and I get that full screen experience. It's the same immersive experience as if I'm on a, a WebEx meeting. So really, I think what Cisco has done with the Desk Pro is solved all those things that have bugged me for so long in an easy, simple form factor that you just plug in and it works amazing. And I, you know, I didn't think when I started, when I did the unboxing, I was excited about it and I, I, I wanted to buy into the hype, but really until you start using it, you don't see the benefits of how amazing this thing is and how much better and how much more immersive your meetings get. So right now, I think the Desk Pro has been the best addition to my home office outside of my sit stand desk, the curved display, and uh, yeah, I mean, these they all make it great. I think I've got the best of both all the worlds uh, brought together without the complexity of trying to figure out a DSLR camera. You could do it with a USB camera that just the quality isn't gonna be the same. You still have to deal with speakers, you'd have to deal with the mic. So I think they've kind of nailed all of those challenges that a home user has to create the best possible remote home in, you know, in-person video experience that you can get. Plus making you way more efficient because you know for me I've got a second display now, sharing content, integrating with people and chatting with them over video has become better, easier, simpler. And I'm just really stoked about the, the Desk Pro. It's a huge improvement from the DX units, the DX80 and the DX70. I just think it's hands down way better. And I think we're gonna see a lot more of these in customer environments as more and more people work from home. So that is an update on the Desk Pro. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, leave a comment. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. I'm gonna be doing something really cool with how to get multi-camera setups within WebEx, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, all of those uh, to make your remote videos that much better. That's coming soon, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.